So JSON data sets are pretty much the standard data format these days. When you are working with data, comparing to CSV or text files, JSON data is a lot more flexible and can integrate with APIs pretty easily. In this video, I will go over how to import and export JSON data set in Python. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation that was inspired by JavaScript, as the name suggests. The syntax of a JSON object is almost identical to a Python dictionary object, except JSON is a data format first, dictionary is a data structure. Now in this video, I want to share two examples. The first example is going to be how to load a JSON file in Python. And the second example is going to be how to export a dictionary object to a JSON file. All right, so let's look at example number one. All right, so in Python, when we are working with JSON data set, we'll be using a standard module called JSON. Now here in my project folder, I have a file called data.json. Let me open the file. And it's what the uh, JSON data file looks like. So it's a real uh, API output that I got from uh, Redis API. So this file has about 17,000 lines of code. Now to load the JSON data file. So here we need to, first of all, uh, use the with statement to open the file first. And here I'm setting the mode to a uh, remote. And this should be on uh, lowercase JSON. And this encoding parameter is optional, but I'm setting the encoding to uh, UTF-8 just to be safe. Then we can uh, use json.load method. And I'll pass the text wrapper object to the uh, load method. And so reads the JSON data set and store the uh, data set into this uh, JSON data object. Now here I also want to import pandas library. And I'll show you why in a second. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, create the JSON data object. Now if I put in JSON data, and basically it's going to uh, return as a dictionary object. If I print the data type, And it's going to return the data type as a dictionary. And from the JSON data object, and since we know uh, this is going to be a dictionary, so we can print the keys. And from this uh, data object, we have uh, two keys, kind and data. Now, let's say you want to perform some sort of uh, transformation or data cleanup. Now we can use pandas module to create a data frame by uh, passing the JSON data object. We now have a table that gives us the uh, Redis uh, table or Redis poses in a table format. Now let's move on to example two. For example two, I'm going to show you how to export a dictionary object to a JSON file. So here I have a data object called student data, and this is basically a dictionary. So we have a key called students. Inside this uh, student's key, we have a list of uh, records. Each record has three fields, name, major, and certificates. Now from the JSON module, if we want to export a dictionary object to a JSON object, we'll be using either the dumps method or json.dump method. So the dumps method will serialize an object into a JSON formatted string. First, the dump method it's going to serialize an object into a JSON string to uh, save the uh, data set into a file. Now let's look at an example. Now here let me go ahead and create this uh, student data object. Now if I pass the student data object to the dumps method, and I'll name the output as response. And print response. And I forgot the P here. And from the dumps method, it's going to return the JSON string that we can pass to other APIs or any other uh, online service that accept uh, JSON string as the input. Now to export this uh, student data dictionary as a JSON file. So here we can use the web statement, we open. And we're going to uh, specify the file path. 
unless I want to uh, export the file as student data.json file, and we need to set the uh, mode to write mode w as underscore f. And I'll pass the text reference object, which is going to be underscore f, and that'll be it. So if I run this code, actually, uh, to the back. Oh, I forgot to pass the student data object followed by the uh, text wrapper. And that will create the student.json file. Now let's look at the output. Noticing that the entire uh, record set is stored in, into a single line. Now let's say I want to uh, prettify the, uh, the output. So all we can do here is, inside this uh, dump method, I can reference the indent parameter to specify the indent value. And I want to set that to four spaces. And just in case, if you want to uh, share uh, the JSON file with someone else that is not in the same region, or regions that use uh, colon or semicolon as the separator. In that case, we can reference the separator's uh, parameter. And we can specify that one to replace, uh, in this case, it's going to be comma as the uh, default separator. I can replace colon or semicolon. Now, if I go ahead and re export the uh, JSON file. Now, this time, if we look at the data set, we can see that the data structure is now a lot more organized. So, this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.